Hello and welcome to this Craft Studio tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can export your Craft Studio models to an OBJ file and actually import them into something like uh, Sketchfab. We've got this um, uh, this uh, Israfel's Jaff uh, bomber here that I made for a, as a little game uh, that uh, really sort of demonstrated kind of some coding and some of the bits and pieces. Um, and for fun, we created Israfel and we made him have a little Jaffa cake bomber, uh, which he uh, he teased. Uh, honeydew with so he, he used to drop uh, Jaffa bombs on honeydew and if honeydew didn't eat them within a certain time these bombs would blow up it's a really look, fun little game and uh, this is one of my favorite little models and I thought I'd just export this up it's really fun to do and uh, kind of just uh, it's really demonstrates that kind of kind of Minecraft stuff but also kind of how how good the colors look as well so this is uh, this is full screen uh, Israfel's Jaffa cake bomber so let's show you how to do that and obviously you're going to need to do it all in Craft Studio. So Craft Studio is here and if you've never seen Craft Studio I've got some tutorial videos uh, and other bits and pieces that you can have a look at uh, and of course I'll link to other people as well. There's, there's quite a lot of tutorials out there and Craft Studio is a, is a, is a, is a kind of multiplayer platform game making bit of software. You can actually make lovely lovely video games with this uh, with your friends because it creates a kind of an online environment and you can all pile in uh, to this environment and have a go at, at making a video game together. It's very, very easy, very amazing. Uh, but um, this tutorial is all about um, how we can actually build things in it because it's got some really simple build tools. Let's show you, um, let's show you, let's just do a, um, let's just create one. I'll just show you how easy it is, first of all, to create something in this, in this, um, in this environment. So here's our kind of modeling environment. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be using this to get young kids uh, to, to create three-dimensional objects. And then we're going to do some 3D printing. So eventually, this is, this is so good for me because um, it does mean we can do some 3D printing really, really easily. It's going to be amazing. And this is how we're going to do it. So we've got nothing in here at the moment. We, we have just to add a block. So we just click a block there and click that. And there it is. We can, I'm just now middle mouse button and I can rotate around this block we can change the position of that block uh, with our numbers over here or we can grab one of these arrows and pull it around like so. Um, we can also rotate the block nice and easy. Uh, we can uh, extend the block okay and um, and we can also uh, let's do that yeah and uh, we can change its offset position. Offset position is really good for if you want to articulate an arm or a leg or something like that and you want to change the center of its gravity if you like. So if, if we put that, that there then if we rotate it now it rotates around that center. Uh, and obviously we've got something called stretch as well. And, uh, I, I would, uh, if you're interested in this stuff go and have a look at tutorial to see a bit more about it. So uh, from all this kind of stuff, we can then um, we can also texture, put some textures on it. So for example, at the moment we've got a sheet size of 64 pixels by 32. It's very low res, but we can increase that resolution uh, just back down here. And there's our ob object. And let's get our paint tools. Paint tools are very simple, just a paintbrush, a rubber, a selection area, and a move selection area tool. And there's our color palette as well. So let's create, let's get a, a color, let's get a kind of a, maybe a kind of a blue and um, close that palette um, there we go this changes the size of our brush it's making a really nice big brush and you see as I'm painting down here you can see that it's actually coloring in the textures over there very very simple to do very amazing let's get a nice pale color reduce the size of my brush and kind of make um, yeah, do some waves on it okay so wave of waves <laughs> nice and simple, you know, not too much fuss. Uh, but from these simple beginnings, you can add different blocks on as well. There we go, going to add another one on. You can create some quite complicated stuff. Here, for example, is a little space invader. Uh, we actually did some animation with it as well. In here, we can actually animate it. Uh, so <laughs> this uh, this kind of moves like that. But what I'm going to be doing with it is I'm going to be exporting it and uploading it to Sketchfab. And this is the the amazing bit. This is how easy it is. Down the bottom we've got a little type area, essentially for typing to your friends and sometimes if you've got other people on here you need to communicate with them. 
fantastic. Also a, com a, a kind of command line. So we can go forward slash export OBJ. Press return. And uh, I'll put invade invader and press return. And we've just now exported a 3D object uh, that we can take into something like Blender or we could take to a kind of uh, a 3D printer, all sorts of things. So that's out there. Fantastic. Now, I would like the textures along with this as well. And here's our little texture area over here. Now, I could copy that and take it to another program or we could actually just press in here forward slash export textures. Uh, texture. Yeah, texture. Press return. That's it. And we'll put invader tex. Press return. And now we've exported a PNG file along with that file. So now we've got two things. So let's go over to Sketchfab fab, and it, it upload them. So I'll just go upload and I'll browse and I'm going to browse in there and there's my invader obj file and I'm going to open that and upload it. Okay, fantastic. And there it is. Um, and it's just taking a little screen grab for me as well. So there's our my um, my space invader. There it is up. Let's put a capital on there so we can see that. Uh, I'll also craft craft studio. So tag it. I don't even need to do a short description, but I do need to put some textures on it. So if I scroll down here, we've got a whole range of different textures, which is quite fun. And let's let's look at diffuse color. I need it to be shaderless. Uh, however, you can experiment with these th these things. I'm going to have diffuse color, and I'm going to upload the texture, and that texture is going to be that Invader Text PNG. Open that up, and there we go. I need it not to be trilinear, but I need it to be a nearest neighbor. And then that's it. Close that down, and there is my <laughs> my Space Invader. It's fantastic. Now, if you we if we had any um, if we had any um, transparencies as well we would go down to opacity and we would do that and I'll, I'll tell you what let, let's show you how to do that as well so let's go over here now I think somewhere I've got a uh, let's do yeah let's do a spy let's do this spy chicken okay so this is a chicken as you might find in um, uh, in Minecraft and I we had a little animation basically I had a, a kind of a temple run game but we had giant chickens chasing you down so I'm gonna just so let's put this so let's put export export OBJ, okay, chicken, all right, and forward slash ex export um, texture, texture, okay, uh, chicken text, okay, there we go. So we've got those two. Let's go to uh, Chrome, and I'm gonna I'm gonna save this one. Just make sure I've saved that. And once that's saved. We'll, we'll upload another another thing. Okay, your preferences have been say upload another one. So let's upload this chicken. Let's browse browse for this chicken, and I'll show you how to do the um, the the transparencies. So there it is. Upload that. Again, doesn't take very long because these are very very small files. It's fantastic. So there's our chicken model. It's great. And we're going to do shadeless. We're going to get a diffuse color in. We're going to upload our texture. It's going to be this tiny little PNG, which is our chicken texture. There. Open that. Remember, it's not trilinear because that kind of blurs it. You can see it blurring there. It's going to be nearest neighbor to make it kind of like kind of graphic-y section. Looks pretty good so far, except we've got all these black areas. Now, we need to go down to opacity. We need to select the upload that we've already uploaded, which is fantastic. Close that down. Looks a bit odd, okay? Strange things are happening. Looks a bit odd. And that's because we need to keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down, make sure we've selected alpha mask. As soon as we select alpha mask, let's scroll out a bit, we can see this this chicken looks fantastic. Okay, uh, so there you go. You can also you know you can have original, you can have a wireframe. Uh, I like shadeless because it, it kind of you know it gives us that uh, kind of crisp crisp look of it. So there you go. There's our chicken. Um, fantastic. Let's give him a capital letter. You know there we go. And let's take a little picture of the chicken. There we go. Lovely. And we'll save it. Make sure it's all saved. And it and it's as simple as that. I think you know. Have a little go with these things. You can embed. Look down here. We can embed uh, all this stuff. We can get some uh, BB code or iframe or a simple H HTML, and you can embed that into your your website. I'm going to be putting it into my website, so I'm going to have a little 
a portfolio of interesting models that we can kind of use Sketchpad, Sketchfab for, uh, and wouldn't that be great? So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you do uh, share some of your models that you're making as well. It would be really interesting to see what's going on. And uh, thanks very much for listening. If you like this, do subscribe. Do tell your friends about it. If you've got any more questions about Craft Studio, give us a shout as well. Leave comments in the comments below, and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.